Well, there's quite a lot of um, differences in my mind. Um, primary one to me is, is the speed. And we, we have, you know, in our system, and people I train with, we, we have access to some of the, the gas-loaded pneumatic things which will pump up, um, or assist people on the, on the concentric phase, and then gravity loaded on the way down. Um, the thing with, the, with gravity loaded, you know, you can, so you can put a stack of truckload of weights on the end and uh, obviously have an eccentric overload as you get assistance on the way up in, in a squat example. Um, the, the issue with that to my mind is you're still, um, gravity is still the, the driving force on the way down. It's, you're not um, actively developing speed in that uh, eccentric phase. Whereas this is driving you, um, actively driving you down rather than just allowing gravity to, to, to slowly crush you. Um, so so that, that gives you a different stimulus um, and as I've already sort of alluded to, that, that, that high speed eccentric stimulus is a really key um, part of, of the, the adaptation. So yeah, gas load is still some great options there. Um, I mean the other nice thing with this, you're not, you're not putting a lot, whole lot of, of load through the trunk and you know, sometimes that, that's a good thing. Um, you know, sometimes having load through the trunk is, is, is important too because obviously we want to sim stimulate the whole system. Um, but this, this it still will compress a little bit, um, but it's, it's certainly possibly more comfortable than having a, a massive, um, you know, putting on two or three hundred kilos on the shoulders on the way down and uh, um, basically, um, yeah, it's a different type of stress. But to my mind, the key factor is, is the speed. This will drive you actively uh, rather than just being limited by your, you know, 9.81 meters per second per second of gravity. Um, so you know, slightly different uh, in terms of those adaptations.